Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to invite all those within the St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ Building, located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. We also have our Rescue Addiction Recovery Program on Mondays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. Our Bible studies are held every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. You can also catch us, follow us, and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Please come out and join us, follow us, follow our podcast. But most of all, get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. And always remember, walk in truth. And if you'd like to contact me by email, you can do so by going to walkintruthministries at yahoo.com or w-i-t-m-i-n at yahoo.com. Thank you and bless you. And we look forward to worshiping and fellowshipping with you. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay from Walk of Truth Radio Podcast. With your encouraging word for today, I want to give a shout out to my international friends all over the world, Jamaica, Kenya, Nigeria, Malawi, Pakistan, India, and all over the known world, England, Spain, France. Just want to thank you for listening in and tuning in. Always continue to befriend us. Follow us on Walk True Christian Fellowship Church Facebook page. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. So I just thank God for you. Continue to listen and support us in 2020. And here we go with today's encouraging word. It's inspired by Amos 3 and 3. And it gives us a description of two people going in the same direction. And it says, paraphrasing, how can two walk together and go in the same direction unless they agree? Now you think about that. Two people wanting to go in the same direction but not agreeing. One wants to approach the journey in which to be traveled in one way. The other wants to approach the journey in the way they conceive it. And how can they both get where they're going if they don't agree and they want to be together? They can't. And therein lies the problem with most people. We want and look at other people's so-called blessings and how anointed they are and those silly things we say as Christians. And we want what they have, but you already have what they have. And because you don't agree that you have it, you're not going to end up in the same place. Think about it. It's a mind thing. Do you know that the Holy Spirit resides within you if you're saved? Do you know that you have the power of the Holy Ghost, which said, let there be light inside of you? Do you know that Jesus said he would not leave you to be orphans, but would send back the Holy Ghost? So what is the problem? The problem is you're playing yourself cheap and you're not understanding about walking together. You have to walk together first with the Holy Spirit and understand its purpose. Its purpose is not wealth, health, and satisfaction in the flesh. It's about spiritual growth. One of the greatest things that you can learn by walking with the Holy Spirit is that no matter what's happening around you, no matter what's going on, calamity, distress, God is king and he's on the throne and he's doing what he wants to do. He's decreeing and declaring, not you. You're the subject and he's the king. He's the Lord. So follow him. And how do you follow him? By learning his word. The one reason why you feel, and I'm going to say feel, think about what I said. The reason why you're so, you're so feeling in your relationship with God is because you don't understand the nature of of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not meant to be felt. It's meant to be obeyed, observed, and appreciated. You need to yield to it. It needs to be submitted to. The things in scripture are spiritual and the carnal man can't conceive them, but you're still trying to play carnal and spiritual. Have you come to the conclusion that grace is the most powerful thing that God gave us? that he continues to give us grace and mercy every day 
And because we have grace and mercy, we should live out our lives as a child that understands the magnitude of the grace that's given us, not in a natural way, but in a spiritual way that gives us calm and peace no matter what. Yes, there may be the initial reaction of disturbance, disillusion, despair, but you know what? When I think about the goodness of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit, and I can say I can have peace in the middle of my storm, I'm good. I'm really good. So I'm agreeing with the Holy Spirit. And I'm walking with the Holy Spirit. I can imagine how it was when Adam walked with God before the fall. I think you could do a similar thing with that with the Holy Spirit. Just yielding unto grace. You don't need law. You don't need anybody to tell you what to do. All you need to do is understand the power that's in you and walk together with the Holy Spirit. And when you walk together with the Holy Spirit, you'll find out that it's easy to walk with others because you're looking for an opportunity to show grace and mercy so you both can get to the other side. It's not about being alone. It's about taking someone with you. And you must find a way through the power of the Holy Spirit and submitting to its will how to walk together so that you can agree and get where God wants you to be personally emotionally spiritually even financially sometimes but the most important thing is that you are saved sanctified and full and being infilled with the power of the Holy Spirit this is Pastor Jay with Walk Truth Radio Podcast I always want you to be encouraged be blessed and be at peace And remember, walk in truth. Peace.